Hi everybody, it's Matt. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to crochet for beginners because it's been a while that I've been learning and teaching you guys to crochet. Those two videos that I made for crocheting, that is just a test purposes to see how well I can like record my work and projects. So anyway, to get on with the video, you're gonna be using a 5.0 millimeter hook. You can use 4.0 or lower, depending on what size of yarn you have for your skein. And I'm also using the peaches and cream yarn. So anyways, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And the other thing that you need to do is smash that subscribe button, it's free. And don't forget to ring that notification bell if you want more videos and let me know if you want more um, videos of interest. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Let's get started. Okay, so in order to start your um, crocheting technique for the beginners, so here's how you do a slip knot. First, you need to start with a slip knot. Be sure that you have enough slack to make the slip knot. So you're gonna make a loop like this almost like the consistent as a clove hitch, but without any pulls. You're gonna take this loose end of yarn and you're gonna go under through this and after that, pull through and boom, that is a slip knot. You can even do it known as, also known as a, um, a double knot. So in order to start your crochet, be sure that it's like loose in the hook you can see how loose it is so it's not tight enough because if you put it tight it's gonna cause the stitches to uh, you know like uh, not like let the yarn go through the hook go through the stitches and that takes a lot of time to start all over again so to start off with your crocheting, we're gonna chain 11 and I'll show you how to do the chain stitch. All you do, it's really easy. Just take your yarn from the left side of your hand with your finger, your forefinger and your thumb like this and you yarn over and pull through this loop. I'm gonna show you again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through this is called the chain stitch so two four six eight this is this wait yeah two four six eight this right here is nine ten and 11 and it's forgetting sometimes so it's okay that it's not perfect since that you have 11 chains you're gonna skip a chain to do our single crochet you're gonna skip the chain insert your hook to the next chain to the next chain and for single crochet you yarn over and pull through one yarn over and pull through two this right here is a single crochet we're gonna keep doing this again So you go inside the loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That is a single crochet. So I'm going to show you guys again, two more times, yarn over, pull through, yarn over again, pull through two. So insert here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over again, and pull through two. Yeah, you can see how it's a little tight. It's just depending on what kind of yarn you have. So this, you guys, here, I'm going to keep going on how to do the next step, okay? So the next step is that you have 10 single crochets. And after your chains, your chains doesn't count a row. After you single crochet, you start going back where you started after your chains. That is called a row. The difference is that round you go around is that you go, it's a row that you go around when you do crochet round. Row is like when you go back and forth. So to continue with single crocheting, 
we're still gonna single crochet and to single crochet after your first row you're gonna chain one and you're gonna turn we're gonna turn our work and you see this little space here the little hole you're gonna gently insert your hook where that little hole is and you are gonna yarn over pull through one do the usual yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two it's very easy when you get used to it as of right now we are going to be making gauges to determine what kind of hook that you want to be used that you want to use for your future crochet projects so watch again yarn over pull through one and then yarn over again and pull through two keep doing this until the end of the row i'm going to show you two more times yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two Yeah, you can see it's a, it's a little tight, so just remember to be very careful. I know that sometimes it can be a little tight, but this is your second row. We already did two rows. It's okay that it's a little tight, just be careful with it. And it's forgetting that it is perfect and it's really okay that it's not perfect because nobody's no one is perfect in this okay this is just for beginners purposes you're going to repeat all of this process until you feel like you have enough rows to finish off this gauge so progress is still going on and as you can see this is what your gauge is supposed to look like just do a few more rows possibly like eight rows is good enough for um to like for a gauge and just to let you know this right here one two three one three five this right here is odd and where the the loose end of yarn that is your even so when you do your projects just remember the start of your row one that is that is odd and the start where your chains is that is your even just remember that that's a little crochet technique there you have it so i'm just gonna do this two more times and then um i'll show you how to what to do at the end of crocheting for beginners so without further ado i'm gonna continue on Okay, so in order to do, since that you already did your 10 rows of single crochet for your gauge, you can do it in different sizes. So to end your uh, gauge, you're gonna do a slip stitch. So you're gonna chain one or two. I'm gonna do two times, and you're gonna take a pair of scissors or a yarn cutter and cut off this end. And in order to do a slip stitch, this is where you need to pull it tight in order to like, mm. so you're gonna use, to make it tight as a knot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this with your hook and you're gonna pull this so that it's tight enough for your gauge and voila, your crochet gauge, which is for how to crochet for beginners is complete. Hi guys, so anyway, I'm glad that you watched this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if this really helped you and this can help people with um, their yarn abilities, like their crocheting ability. So leave a comment down below if this was really helpful. And if you want me to do like uh, projects like a sweater or any requests that you want me to do, especially cinematic, please leave a comment down below and don't forget to smash that subscribe button it's free and ding that notification bell in order to let me know and follow me on social media i have instagram facebook so i hope you enjoyed this video it was a lot of effort to make and i promise you crocheting will be back in progress love you guys bye